There he is. Whoa! No way. We're gaining, boys. Yeah! What a milestone. Seriously. Hey golfers, I'm Master Fitter Danny Farrow at the Minnetonka location for Second Swing. Today, very, very happy about this one. We've got an athlete in the house, Tony Grabowski. How you doing, man? Good, it's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So today we're going to be kind of doing the same thing we did in another video with Justin uh, Panka, trying to chase speed, right? We have athletes that are getting faster and faster this year. So we're going to kind of work through that. We're going to see his driver. Kind of see how that was. That was actually fitted here too by me. And um, now we're going to explore some other stuff too. So, Tony, talk to me about your golf season. How'd you play this year? Um, uh, it was a little bit up and down. The start of the season was pretty good for me. Okay. Um, the game was pretty good through the, the first part of it and then kind of went through a lull halfway through. Okay. Um, didn't get a chance to practice as much. Sure. Um, and then towards the end of the season, I, I really picked it back up. Okay. So. Okay. In terms, in terms of speed, what are you doing? I mean, we're going to see some above average club head speed here. So talk to me about that. What are you doing um, training wise? Uh, how I mean, do you I, get there? Um, I mean, I work out four days a week still. Okay, that'll um, help. Um, yeah, so um, I've been doing that ever since college sure. uh, and played baseball in college. So uh, okay. that definitely helps kind of just in my blood to just work out. Mm -hmm. um, nothing really specifically golf related. Okay. I think, you know, just training strength and speed okay. are just one of the two things, you know, while lifting weights that have helped me create the speed that I have with a golf swing. Awesome, awesome. So let's kind of dive in. We're gonna take a look at your driver. We'll talk about some specs and try and chase some ball speed, man. Absolutely. See how fast we can go. Let's get after it. All right, so Tony, let's talk about this driver. You came in and saw me for the fit, right? Correct. So yep. how was it outside for you this year? Uh, really, really good. I mean, like I said, you know, I hit that lull through halfway through the year and I was kind of just struggling, missing right. Yep. But, I, you know, that was more my fault. Okay. Um, you know, I was going through a little bit of swing changes, sure. talking with you with the irons and, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of transitioned into the driver and I struggled a little bit. Yeah. But towards the end of the season, I, I really started to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, what was your low score for this year? Uh, 72. 72? That's pretty good. Darn good round of golf. Well, let's see if we can't get 192 or even 200 ball speed wise. <laughs> let's see what's going on. So, Tony, with this driver set up, 45 and a half inches long, pretty standard, okay? Um, eight degrees sim, two head. We kind of altered kind of the settings in there to kind of help you out as well. So, it's down two clicks. So, it plays three degrees open, okay? So, we might see a little bit more of the right. You talked about that too today. Um, and then it's a degree and a quarter more upright, yep. so toe up, which might influence face angle a little bit too. And uh, it's down a, a degree and a half aloft. So we're at six five. Yep. Okay. So overall, let's let's send it. Let's see what's right. going on. Move there. Okay. There he is. There he is. Danny, that's just stupid. How far is this going? 330, 362, 192 ball speed. I mean, landing angle under 40. Perfect. Good stuff. It's a gift, man. <laughs> Let's see some more. I love that ball flight. Just Tony, so. I need your cell phone number for a scramble. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're going to be getting you got calls it. like crazy. <laughs> Holy cow. So how long have you been playing golf? So this is the end of my second year. I uh, picked it up during quarantine when COVID-19 started. Um, and then played through that, and then this is, you know, the first kind of full year with fitted clubs and, mm -hmm. you know, having a little bit of coaching as well. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy good. Crazy good. Really, really good. All right, so 
Tony, on our journey to chase kind of that 200 miles an hour ball speed, we're, we're getting there. We've got all the club speed there for it. Yep. I think fastest so far is 196.4. Yep. But that was with, with your stock gamer driver that, that you know was fitted here. Yep. So now, you know, we just did another video with another talented gentleman, Justin Panka, yep. who l is letting us use his driver too. So yeah. this is now 48 inches. Yep. Okay, so it's a non-conforming, like you can't play it in tournament. Yep. Okay, uh, and we're at four degrees yep. on the head too. So let's see with lower loft, we might be able to get that 200 out of it. Let's see. Yep. Right? Yeah. Thank you, Justin, for letting me use your driver. Uh, let's, let's put the pedal down, man. Oof. I guess there is something in it. Oh. 190. We're gaining, 26. boys. 134 <laughs> 7 on the club speed. You <laughs> 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 got this, boss. <sighs> yep, just close that face a little bit when we're there. Okay. Love speed to there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. One ninety nine eight. All right. Let's go. <laughs> no kidding. Come on now. <laughs> what do you think if we change the ball? But I mean, looking at kind of the numbers of, of what happened there, I mean, let's take that one out for example, but this was us kind of chasing that, that ball speed with your driver, Correct. right? Yep. That 45 and a half inches yep. stock, you know, fitted driver. Now we stepped into a longer one. Your first time ever swinging something longer, right? Yep, yep, first time ever. I've, so, I've known about long drive clubs, but I've never got, had my hands right? on one. So this is insane, you know, the athletic ability to not only go longer, heavier, and be able to swing it faster. I mean, if we're three miles an hour faster, Larry. Three. Ball speed's up. We still have a little bit more room there. Yep. But you know, overall, we can see the longer length, it's harder to square up for sure. Absolutely. You know, this is your fitted driver, but we're gonna change the golf ball a little bit. Okay. We're gonna try uh, the top flight um, bomb. bomb that's more commonly used on the world long drive. Okay. So. It's more of a two-piece ball. Might uh, get us over that we're 200. Gonna we're gonna blast the bomb. We're gonna bomb it. We are gonna bomb it. Yeah. Two oh one. Awesome. Two oh one. What a milestone. Seriously. 201. Well, <laughs> and again, it kind of goes back to one of our other videos about picking the right golf ball. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You know, we're chasing speed. I don't necessarily would want to play golf with that ball A because it's yeah. because it's probably not going to chip and putt very well. <laughs> right. But you know, if you're out there, if you're out there chasing speed, or if you're out there playing a scramble with your buddies, mm -hmm. you know. Might not be a bad thing to try. Absolutely. That's why that just the the proof that there is difference in golf ball. Hundred percent. Just, just by picking it. that up. Yep. You want to try? You want to try one more? Yeah. That was. That was now, now, now that you now that you got to two oh one point two. Fantastic, man. Good miss. Okay. It's a lot start. harder to control this. Yeah, so I mean, talk to me about, you know, how that is since you've never hit something longer before. What adjustments are you making to try and make it work? Um, obviously standing further away from the ball. I have a okay. tendency to hit like more towards the toe with the regular driver. So um, one of the things that helps me is stand a little bit further away from yep. the, the golf ball. So it forces me to get that path more out. Yeah. Um, I think, 
being a little bit more smoother in transition to the top of the backswing yep. is, is necessary with this club because if you're too quick with the tempo and you start to come down, yeah. you know, it just doesn't seem like you can time it up right. Yeah, and that's so. kind of what we're seeing now, right? You're, you're making that shaft load way more than it's yep. designed to, so it's not flexing in the right spot, so it's harder to control, plus the length is working against you too. Yeah. But you being an athlete and being able to at least square the face and get over 200 miles an hour, yeah. incredible. No way. Uh, the track man does not like me today. <laughs> one, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Look at that the club head speed. That so, was the highest of the day? Yeah, totally. Like when you're prepping to hit the golf shot, what, what are you doing to try and build yourself up for the speed? I'm not. You're not? Uh, I mean, I, honestly, I mean, especially, um, you know, Playing baseball in the collegiate level, I think, you know, sometimes, you know, you know the intricacies of the game. Yeah. Where golf for me right now is like I'm not trying to have too many thoughts in my head. I love that. Um, I think it, it just simplifies the game for me because yeah. as soon as you stand over the ball and you start thinking about I need to do this in the top of the back swing, I need to do this with my lower half, right. then you're overthinking everything. Right. So okay. for me, I, I step up, um, just make sure my feet are comfortable, okay. and then deep breath, one, two, three, go. Okay. What a great, what a great thought for all golfers. Love it. I mean, how many times you play with somebody and they get locked in the and they're all, comes yeah, out. and they're so nervous and they're so, I'm going to hit this so hard. That's the worst thing you can do. No, simple is better. One all swing right. thought or no swing thought. That's why routine is so important. Yeah, yeah, I think one of the one of the swing thoughts that I that I kind of remind myself, um, even when you know using irons, wedges, and stuff like that, for me is uh, you know I have a tendency for my tempo to be too fast, so. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, I just think, you know, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yeah. So that's just yeah. one of the things. Because your, your smooth is 10 miles an hour faster than an average yeah. tour player. Yeah. Right? On the, on the seven iron. Yeah. Get there. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Perfect one and done. Very nice. Wow. Wow. All right. Tony, awesome job. Thank you. Really, really good. I mean, I'm impressed by what the golf ball delivered. Absolutely. You know, we changed it into the top flight bomb, yep. the golf ball on the World Long Drive Tour, and look at the difference behind you there. Club head speed, you know, marginal change, half mile an hour. Right. Yep. But because we changed it to a two-piece ball, yep. something firmer, we gained a little bit more ball speed, yep. and we actually broke 200 twice. Well, yep. basically three times at 199. Yep. So that ball delivered, but in terms of consistency, we lost it. But, yeah, you know, you know at, that, at that speed, as we, you know, we discussed earlier, I mean, your margin for error is so, is so minor. You know, that's why when you watch a long, long drive, you, you watch a guy hit, they hit six, 10, 12 drives, and they're, right. like, they're trying to get one. Yeah. You know, when you're yeah. playing golf with your gamer driver, your gamer driver is great. You know, you get that little consistent baby fade that you can play golf with. So it really is kind of two games. There's a long drive game, and then there's the other game. Right. And that's where, like I said earlier, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive what Bryson's done, having the ability of trying to bring the long drive game into playing professional golf. Absolutely. So, um, but, you know, there's that fine line that as your game progresses, you keep working with Danny, there might be a driver, a ball combination, something that's going to help you pick up some more yards and actually, you know, play better golf, absolutely. shoot better scores. Yeah, I mean, we saw that just in the fine-tuned setting yeah, today, absolutely. right? So, uh, Tony, thank you, thank you, thank you for yeah. coming in, thank showcasing you your me. speed and talent. Yeah. Larry, thanks for being in here as well. Guys, if you like what you see, show Tony some love. 200 miles an hour in ball speed. Are you kidding me? So smash that sub subscribe button, hit like, comment, and show Tony some love. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.